Hello guys and welcome to this video. Guess what? I bought in more crabs. In the previous video, I showed you guys the unboxing of the vampire crabs. This time I brought in some new color variation of these vampires along with entirely new species. I can't wait to show you guys. Without further ado, let's get into business. As usual, the crabs is heat sealed into a plastic bag filled with pure oxygen gas. This is the new species. Let's open it up and get a closer look. According to my supplier, the name of this beautiful species is red apple crab. But not much helpful information of this species can be found online. We have to figure out how to take care of it based on the information later in this video. This is a very healthy specimen. As you can see, it already start to feeding off the dead skin of my hands. For now, let's continue with the unboxing. This is a beautiful orange color vampire crab. This is probably the first recorded mating of the red apple crab on the video. I only noticed this when I'm editing. Too bad I missed the closure shot on it. No complex mating ritual was found. The male just pinned the female on its back and they begin their business. Okay, now we have done the unboxing of the crabs and we need to figure out what the requirements of the red apple crab is. It looks very similar to the red claw crab at the first glance but it shows a lot of difference when you look closely. The biggest difference is in the eye color. 
Unlike the grey coloured eye in the red claw crab, the eye in the red apple crab is in yellow colour. The red and the black colour of this species is more intense compared to red claw crab. As I said earlier in this video, not much information or picture were found in online. It is highly possible that this species is not yet scientifically described. There are numerous cases where species is only discovered quote and unquote after it was traded in a hobby for almost a decade. I was told that this species come from the same area as a vampire crab is, which they share almost a similar niche and habitat. Not much aggression were observed between the two species. They show almost no territory behavior, even when stacking on each other, suggests that they can coexist with each other in harmony. I do believe that this species is a land crab as they mate on land. Most species of aquatic or semi-aquatic crab usually mate underwater. I decided to place them in the same tank as the vampire crab and see how it goes. Now I'm going to place the crab inside the tank. I will include the link on how to set up enclosure of vampire crabs down below. That's it for today and thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As usual, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button for more interesting video ahead. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.